I appreciate the new gig and all, but does it seem eerily quiet down here to you guys? You guys say something? I don't know, no. Me. Wait, weren't there four of you? What the? Back up! We need backup! <laughs> What even is this thing? <laughs> Nowhere to run now. Come to harvest me for parts, have you? No, I'm not one of them. I'm... You filthy playtime company humans have no respect for anyone. Well, th that part's true, but I'm not a human. I'm a toy, just like you are, I, I think. Oh, really? Then why do you have one of those? Look, I can explain. I don't need your excuses. I need you to tell me where I can find the workers of Playtime Company this instant. W why Because I have to get my revenge. You see, before I became this monstrosity, I was a human. I was fascinated by music. Unfortunately, when it came to performing, <laughs> Well, I wasn't a very good singer, or guitar player, or even a dancer. So, naturally, I was pretty dejected. But that wouldn't stop me from trying. My mom did her best to support me. Cut it out with that racket. Are you trying to make us go deaf? Dad, not so much. But despite everything, I was determined to prove to everyone that I could be an amazing musician someday. The holiday talent show was my only shot. I practiced for weeks and I knew it would be my big break. Hey, Bozo! What are you doing backstage? Isn't this a talent show? Yeah, you're supposed to actually be good at music to enter these things. I had never been so nervous. This is my chance to prove everyone wrong, including my unsupportive father. Jingle Stop! My ears are bleeding! I didn't know we had music class with a dying cow! I was humiliated. The bullying got so bad that I had to transfer to homeschool. And from there it got worse. My dad banned me from making music in the house. Who could blame him? I stunk. My mom gave me an early Christmas gift to cheer me up. Though it didn't go over as well as she intended, I did find a use for it after all. I realized I could use these tiny contraptions to make music. No singing nor strumming required. So I started making music boxes. It brought back my dreams of being a musician. And eventually I got pretty good at it. My dad still banned music in the household though, so I had to do it stealthily in our shed. What are you doing here? I'm just, uh, working on a woodshop project. For class, you know. What is this? Another music box? What have I told you over and over again? No music in my house. Not now, not ever. You understand me? I was devastated. But if those were the rules of his house, then the only way I could follow my dreams was to leave for good. Leaving home was hard, but it paid off. Kids loved my work. And as I grew up, I became a fixture of toy stores across the country. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a minute to meet? You see, I work for Playtime Co. The Playtime Company? We were wondering if you would be interested in helping us create a new toy. What do you think? It was a dream come true. Having a toy with Playtime Company would set me up for life. I was all in. But here's some advice. Always read the fine print. And the toys are produced here. Wow, I, I never thought I'd see the inside of Playtime Company, much less be working with them. Potentially working with us. If you can help us figure out what's wrong with this here toy. See, there are some parents out there who think too much Playtime will rot kids' brains. So we're inventing educational musical toys. This one is designed to help teach kids how to play piano. 
That's genius. I wish I had that when I was a kid. What we need you to do is teach the AI the fundamentals. What? I can't do that. What do you mean? You're the best known musical toy maker in the city. I know, but I'm I, I'm a terrible performer. I've never been able to play an instrument in my life. That's why I make music boxes. You're telling me I hired a musician who isn't a musician? Well, my friend, you did sign a contract, so I expect your help somehow. Working for Playtime Company is a dream come true. I'll, I'll do anything you need. I should not have said that. I had no idea what was in store for me. Very well then, right this way. I was starting to become concerned as the CEO led me into a dark laboratory. Apparently it was the room where new toys were incubated and tested. What is this? As of right now, nothing. But we're hoping to make it into a sort of jack-in-the-box. One with a more interactive experience. Normally you can crank up a jack-in-the-box, it pops out, and that's it. We want one children can really play with. One with a little more personality. I don't mean to cause trouble. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Yes, I think you will. Your cooperation is appreciated. I'd consider that fulfilling your contract. No! No! My worst nightmares couldn't compare to what happened to me that day. As I died inside that contraption, my spirit was so angry it brought the jack-in-the-box to life. It brought me back to life. Unfortunately, that's exactly what he wanted. A human vessel. Ever since that day, I've been trapped like this. And all I've ever wanted is my revenge. Boxy Boo, that sounds awful. But you don't need to get revenge against me. I I'm not one of them, I, I swear. Requested backup is on its way. I repeat, requested backup is on its way. Over. You liar! You brought more of them! I didn't! It was the other guy, I- I know the truth now. And I will make you pay. No! Wait! No! Ah. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. You think you can fool me? I will destroy you! Guys, a little help! Phew, thanks. That should hold him off for a little while. But I, I want to test it. Let's get out of here. You will pay, player. There's no way she can fit through there. What's down there? Ah! Whatever it is, it's got to be better than here. I'll get you next time, boys. Just you wait. We better keep moving, gang. Who knows what could be down here? We need to get whatever that thing is before it gets us. Approach with caution, boys. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Ooh, what's in there? I hope it's puppies. Whoa, definitely not puppies, but cute enough, I guess. What are these things? Ah, okay, not cute, not cute. Uh, I can't stay mad at you. You don't know better anyway. You're not old enough for a moral compass. You know, you kind of look like... What are you doing here? You get your hands off him! Stay away 
away from us, Boxy Boo. I'm not letting you hurt these little... Well, maybe cute's not the right descriptor, but I'm not letting you hurt these things. You don't understand. I'm not trying to hurt them. And why should I believe you? Because... I found them in the garbage the other day. I rescued them from a group of those humans that have been breaking in. And I've been taking care of them ever since. Look at them. How can you say no to that face? And they look just like me. That's true. They do have your eyes. I know, I know, I'm getting too attached. But I even gave them names. Roxy, Soxy, Paul. The men never came into the trash room, so I figured they'd be safe here. And now I see you messing with them. I had no idea. Someone just dumped them in the trash? Yes, right? They're so young, what kind of monsters would do such a thing? Right? Sounds like something only a horrible person would do. You see, Boxy Boo, there's a reason they look so much like you. They're your prototypes. My prototypes? I'm sure you remember your creation, yes? No! No! Long before that, we tried, and failed, to create the perfect Boxy Boo toy. We'd improved upon the formula for a regular Jack in the Box. Our Boxy Boos were to play music, as well as little sayings and walk around. We ran into some issues. Limbs not being strong enough, poor sound quality. But when we solved all those issues, we had the perfect little Boxy Boo at last. There was one factor we forgot to check for, though. Our failure meant that we had to trash all current Boxy Boos and figure out an alternative approach. That's why you were created. The perfect human vessel that had control. Willpower! I had to dispose of them as inconspicuously as I could, so I hid them in the trash room, set up to be put through the trash compactor. But then I realized, we poured a lot of money into creating these toys, so I sent the hazmat suit men after them. That way we could at least harvest them for materials. And the best part? There would be no sign of the real prototypes left. No way for them to be traced back to us. You just throw them away? Pretty much, yes. But they're practically living creatures. You're evil. So you have concern for toy lives, but not human lives. Humans are a plague that must be eradicated. But these prototypes are like my little siblings. Well, looks like you better make your goodbyes quick. It's not so bad. Maybe you'll meet a nice chill in the box one day and have babies of your own. I can make that happen. Ah! Wee! Roxy, your first word. We're missing Paul. Yeah, there were three of us before, but one of us ran away.